let's explore the search function in Excel. Here we have some examples where what we're doing is we're searching for something in a text string. And search is going to tell us what character our, our search can be found at first. So for example, we want to know where does n appear in the text string data is not correct. So what I can do is I type in equal search. And you see the formula right next to where I'm typing. I want to find an n, and I want to find it within this text string. And I want it to start from the beginning, so I just need two arguments. Great. And I'm going to copy that down, Control-D. Now, some people ask me, what's the difference between search and find? Well, the difference is simply this. Let's do it. Equals find. And we're going to look for an n again. And data is not correct same formula. But you're going to see we have an error message, and that's because find is case sensitive. So there's no lowercase n in data is not correct. If I were to change this search to a capital N, then we get the 9 appearing. So if you want something to be the search to be case sensitive, you want to use find. Otherwise, use search. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap an error message around this so that I'm not getting that error message. And I'm just going to use if error. And then after it does the calculation, if there is an error, I just want a little hyphen. And I'm going to copy that down. So probably wondering, how, if there's nothing's being searched for here in revenue grew by 5%. Why is it giving character 8? Well, what you don't know is if I look in the cell, I, hopefully you can see it, there is a space there. So I'm searching for the first space. So this is a great way to break up uh, text strings if you find their spaces. So that's 8. Uh, text starts in, uh, is the character 10 in the string. Now let's look at how someone in finance and banking might use it. So let's say I have a name. Or I have a ticker. So we have New York Stock Exchange, that's Walmart, we have NASDAQ, and we have the Apple stock. And we want to take out the exchange and just have the ticker, WMT or AAPL. Well, we can use search uh, together with LEN, which stands for length, and then use something called write. So if I go LEN, that's the number of characters in a text string. I highlight that. I'm going to copy that down. Now what we want to do is, in this case, with John Doe, I want just the last name. So what I've done is there's a space there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals, and I'm going to use right. From the right, in this cell, John Doe, give me the length minus where John Doe's last name starts. Now I'm going to copy that down, but it works just the same with the right function here. The only difference is I have just basically said search for the colon. That's separating the stock exchange from the ticker. And that's how you can use search.